everyone, Nick Kretikos of Nick's Seasonal Decor, and today I'm going to be showing you an easy dollar store Christmas or winter wreath. So I was at my local dollar store, it was first of all incredibly busy, and there wasn't much of a selection. So it just goes to show you that we can absolutely make what we find work. So I found some of these white berries, I found some of these beautiful red berries, and the highlight of this design is going to be the holly. So I picked up five or six of each color. We ended up not using the white, so you can easily get away with about 10-11 sprays uh, between the holly and the red berries. So what I've done is I've just cut down the stems, and now I'm dipping them in my glue skillet. So the only product on this that is not dollar store is going to be the 14-inch grapevine. I was going to use a dollar store frame, but I think this is going to do a, a lot better of coverage and, you know, having some of that grapevine peek through is a beautiful touch. So you can pick these up from our website. You can also find them from Walmart, Michaels, Joann's, you name it. But I'm just outlining the perimeter with this beautiful holly. And the reason I started off doing that is because I wanted to make sure to extend this wreath as far as possible. And in all honesty, once we get done with all of this holly, I think if you worked in another three or four sprays, I think that would be a beautiful wreath with just the holly. But now we're breaking down these red berries. By breaking up your stems into smaller pieces, what ends up happening is you're able to stretch that product throughout and it doesn't look as clumpy. So I always recommend, no matter what products you use, to break them up into smaller pieces and then work them throughout. So I'm just taking them, dipping them in our glue skillet. And I like to use a lot of hot glue, especially at this time of the year with the snow, the rain, the thaw. Uh, you want to make sure that that glue is sturdy and you want to make sure that you're using enough of it. So I also like to keep my glue temperature at kind of a medium temp, uh, which means I just turn the dial up about halfway. I like my glue to be the consistency of like honey. Uh, I don't want it to be too watery because that does pose a safety hazard. So you can work in as many or as few as you would like. I do want this wreath to be on the fuller side. So I am working in all of the berries that I picked up. And look at how pretty this is turning out. I absolutely love it. They also had some signs, they had some poinsettias, some ornaments. Even though my selection was still very slim, there's still so many possibilities that you can create. So feel free to have fun with this. That's what it's all about, is creating your own beautiful wreath in your color scheme and your aesthetic. So here's the finished product. Look at how pretty that turned out. For less than $20, you have a beautiful wreath that will last you from now until spring. So I absolutely love the simplicity of it, but feel free to make it your own. Work in a sign, work in a bow, whatever you decide to choose will be absolutely stunning. So thank you all so much for watching. This is Nick Kretikos of Nick's Seasonal Decor. Be sure to hit that like and share button if you like this tutorial and follow us on our other social media accounts as well. Bye everyone. I hope you have a great day and happy holidays.